Good morning children. Today I social science teacher I am going to continue with the chapter Mughal Empire of history. This video is the continuation of the last two videos. Today I am going to tell you in detail about Akbar the Great. Akbar became the emperor of Delhi at the age of 13. He was very competent and soon began to handle the entire empire successfully. He was guided by his tutor Bairam Khan. He fought the second battle of Panipat with Afghan ruler Sher Shah Suri and he defeated him and established control over Delhi and Agra in November 1556. Akbar's conquests Akbar was known for his conquests he conquered Malwa Gondwana Bundelkhand Ranthambore Bikaner Jaisalmer Gujarat and the Deccan kingdom he further annexed Berar Kashmir Khandar Kabul Sindh etc and many other places he died in 1605 but before he died he started many systems and that were very successful akbar's mansabdari system akbar introduced the mansabdari system in mughal empire akbar's officials included iranians turani indian muslims afghans and the rajputs later marathas were also recruited These officers joining the Mughal services were known as mansabdars. Mansab denoted three things. It determined the status or rank of its holder, the mansabdar in the official her- hierarchy. Second, it fixed the pay of the mansabdars. Third, it fixed the specified number of sawars or contingents with horses and equipment that the mansabdar had to maintain the rank and the salary of mansabdar were determined by the numerical value called zat akbar's rajput policy akbar also annexed territories through matrimonial alliance with rajput princes He won the support of Rajputs by giving them high positions in the administration. Almost all the Rajput rulers accepted Akbar as the supreme ruler. But there were many other rulers who looked upon him with suspicion. Under Akbar for the policy ended the old enmity between the Rajputs and the Mughals. He placed Mughals and the Rajputs in the Mughal government. This greatly helped them to achieve success. There were many other social reforms also that were brought in the society by Akbar. For example, he he stopped the practice of sati, he promoted widow remarriage and he raised the age of marriage of girls from 14 to 16 for boys. he was against polygamy and there were he was a very he had a very good religious tolerance he provided scholarships to students girls were allowed to go to school 